YouTube. How y'all day going? Today I want to go over something called accountability. Something that my ex didn't understand. Something that the side chick at the time didn't understand. I'm just playing. <laughs> but I will say Draymond Green has taken the cake for not taking accountability. If not taking accountability was a sport, some would be the LeBron of that sport. And probably the Draymond at the same time, because Draymond be bugging. <laughs> but if you don't know, Draymond Green has been in the tabloids like crazy. And when I say tabloids, I ain't talking about newspaper. I'm talking about YouTube. I know you youngies don't read. So Draymond Green has been all over YouTube lately. Everybody's been making videos about this guy. <laughs> Mostly due to the situation and the friction with him and Stephen A. Smith. Now, there's a situation going down to where Draymond Green feels like Stephen A. Smith maybe calling him out of character and painting him in a bad picture. Let me be a little honest. I don't think Draymond Green is really good with um, dodging accountability. I will, I will slap out of you. I will do whatever I need to do to win a basketball game. My son just said, I'll slap the shit out you or the, Draymond, what sport is we playing, nigga? You might need to start boxing, my nigga. Like, what? But a lot of people, even people that think you, you respect the like going on TV, like, and just feeding into the narrative. All right, let's stop for a minute. Like, Draymond, I get you, my G. Like, there's always going to be people that's going to want to paint the narrative about you. But could we at least admit that you had some doing in that? That image that you don't like? No? All right, let's keep going. I'll tell you one person. I haven't talked to him much since. Stephen A. Smith. And this right here is when shit start getting real. <laughs> Stephen A., anytime I meet someone and they say something about you, it's never like, yo, I like him. He cool. It's always like, man, that dude, he a character, he's this, he's that. And I always say back, I actually know the guy. <sighs> They're talking about the basketball player. You're the one making it personal. You need help, my nigga. But watch what Kenny said. But I think he, I think there should be more in-house counseling in terms of uh, Mike uh, Dunleavy, Steve Kerr, on a constant basis. They have to probably do things that they traditionally would not do in coaching someone. And so you have to, because there are, because his behavior is hurting the team. It's not helping. And don't get it fucked up. Shaq is used to defending this man like he defends this man like no other watch this shit listen he does a lot of crazy things on the court that he shouldn't but don't put the narrative oh he needs counseling nothing wrong with Draymond I just wanted to say so you have no that. problem with what he's been doing on the floor well I, 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 I'm not saying I don't have a problem with it but he's been doing it <sighs> Jamal Murray gets upset throws a towel on the court then he gets upset he throws a heating pack on the court the rulings, we find you a hundred thousand. It's okay. What if that was Draymond Green? What would happen? I would have got suspended for the rest of the playoffs, for sure. And you throw a heating pack on the court, and that's okay. So tell me this: if somebody step on that heating pack and get hurt, then is it a bigger deal, or is it not? Don't tell me, oh, we don't want to affect the outcome of the game because the outcome of an NBA Finals was affected. My nigga, the audacity to be sitting here dry snitching or somebody else not getting fined for doing something on the court and then for you to turn around and say this? I, I You know me, I'm never one to want to see players get suspended. I'm never one to want to see players get fined. I actually think it's ridiculous. When you look at us as basketball players, the amount of money we get fined for the things that we do. That don't happen in corporate America. It never happens in corporate America. You get fined $50,000 because you say something somebody don't like. And here comes what I like to call a transparency moment. Draymond, there are people out here making 60000 a year that get fired just for looking at their supervisor the wrong way, let alone saying something, looking at them the wrong way. Bruh. Let's touch grass a little bit, my nigga. And back to your Jamal Murray question, I think it was absolutely insane 
that you get a hundred thousand dollar fine, no suspension, no nothing, for throwing a heating pack. <laughs> so this whole situation just made me dig a little bit deeper. I went on a little Draymond binge. And I came across this podcast where Draymond Green was being interviewed by this beautiful young lady, my I say. She I but anyways, her facial expressions was killing me the whole dang interview, bro. Like she's asking this man questions, and you can see the whole time she not believing shit he says. And Draymond just continues to put in a masterclass of how not to dodge accountability. This video is put out just like this. No audio. And if we got this video, we got the whole practice, right? Like, we got everything, right? Mm -hmm. All you see is, what, five seconds? This was, this, this was put out like this to, to form that opinion on me that it did. So just a so clarifying you know, question, because mm -hmm. I'm curious. I, I can, and I can't tell if this is what you're being insinuated. I don't want to be wrong. The video coming out, you feel like, was like, a calculated thing for the video to come out. 100%. Look at that face. <laughs> that face is the face of a woman that has been around bullshitters. And to her, Draymond is looking very familiar. <laughs> that camera got to be on every day, right? Or was it just on that day in that moment for those five seconds? <sighs> With the information that we have presented to us from what we saw in the video, do you think that you all have been able to be in the space to move forward? Do you think that you have shown to Jordan, based on what we have seen, that you are sorry, that you want to move forward, that it can be put behind you? Uh -uh. You see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? 